<laughs> so you get to be John Stewart again. Yes. What is that like? Oh, it's it's like coming home, <laughs> you know? I mean, and also getting to do it with Bruce Timm. Mm. You know, that's the part that's really special for me because the first time I played this character was under Ju Bruce's production and direction. And, and then his level of quality and expertise is so great. And also to be a part of this amazing story. Mm. Hey. I'm there. <laughs> so this is not, you know, it's not only that you're getting to do John Stewart, but you're also getting to do John against Hal, which we didn't really get to see you get to do any of that in the old Justice League cartoon. Was that a fun rapport to get to kind of develop with, uh, with Sasha? Yeah, well, it was interesting because in the Justice League show, John was the Green Lantern of Earth. And so I've never done anything where there's a John and a Hal. Mm. Um, and in this one, it's interesting because obviously it's a Superman story. So it's not really about us. We're just the core. You know, so that part is, you know, it's not like who's Green Lantern one, who's Green Lantern two, you know, we're all just trying to hold our own against that big Russian. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, speaking of that big Russian, you have like you get the chance to go up against Superman in this film and like as <laughs> <laughs> the chance. Yeah. yeah, that's that's one way to put it. <laughs> So like, was it, how fun was that getting to see that emotion and getting to kind of play that out? Well, it's interesting because a lot of times in superhero shows, there's not really a level of threat. Mm. But in this one, we're going against Superman. <laughs> so there was actually a level of urgency and a little bit of fear that you don't really get with Green Lantern usually. You know, it's like, all right, guys, let's go. <laughs> yeah. So last, last question, I don't want to keep you too much longer. Um, part of the appeal of this story is we're getting all these DC characters that we've known and loved for years, and we've known them in one particular setting, and now we're throwing them in a new location, new time period, and going, oh, let's see what happens. Where else would you love to see these characters end up, in, like, in if, if there's any other time period, any other location? Would you want to see, like, Batman in the old age, like, Middle Ages or something like that? <laughs> well, it's funny, because there are so many of those Elseworld stories, like, you know, Batman in, you know, 1800s London, or, you know, the, the Old West, and, a lot of them are wonderful. It's like, oh, wow, I've always wondered what it would be like if you know, he was like a cowboy Batman. But there are few that have the power, just the imagination power of this story because it forces you to reconsider everything that you assume about what makes Superman Superman. And that, so it's hard to think, I mean, us nerds in the back of the comic book shop always go, what if, you know, Aquaman was Airman, you know? <laughs> but most of those ideas aren't that great. <laughs>